Hello guys, this is Cyrus from SciTech Media. Today I am going to show you how to update your old MI TV which may be 4A, 4C, or 32 inch or 43 inch model. Uh, this TV which I have has been bought be two years uh, before two years, uh, nearly about uh, December 2018. So till now I haven't uh, received any update from Android or Patchwall or from Xiaomi online from OT as an OT update. So right now I am going to show you how to update those old TVs. So initially you have to allow third party installation in your settings menu uh, where it is under the security. So come on let's start the video. Initially I made this video in my native language Tamil. But since a lot of people from north will also be watching this video, I also did this in English. So right now I am connecting to my Wi-Fi hotspot which I made through my mobile. You may connect it to your uh, Wi-Fi system or uh, some other Wi-Fi, not an issue in Wi-Fi. So after you get connected, you go to your update area, system update option and you try to update. What is there right now is you have to be very much patient in updating like this because Xiaomi has not granted update for such devices which is an old one. Some of it may have received the update from the server but a lot of the devices which Xiaomi have uh, sold before two years has not received such an update. So right now I am trying to update. I have also tried to update by turning off the automatic update option. So I have tried it and if the update is not shown at that time you go back to your Wi-Fi settings and turn this turn on this static IP address so that you could change the DNS server IP address in your uh, hotspot area so I am going to delete the IP address which is previously found that is 192.168.43.1 so I have deleted it entirely and I am giving a new IP address which uh, for which uh, some of you can receive an update through this IP address so type in 8.8.8.8 .8. so after you type this don't forget to save the settings which is below save the settings and then go back to your system update option and then you try to update your system some of you may receive the update while you have updated this DNS server IP address so for me that's a failure I didn't get an update so you once again you try turning off that automatic update option also so after that if you have received it's okay you are fine you have you can go with your TV if not if some people have not received the update even now you can continue seeing my video because initially what I have told is you have to be more patient in this method so since both the update uh, has been failed so I am trying to reboot my device so go back to your home screen try to reboot your device so until it reboots let's see you have to be aware that you have switched on the third party um, app installation in your security menu because only when the third party is switched on it can be installed when the update is shown so the pop-up window will be visible now and then anytime so right now you go back to your settings and then try to update after rebooting maybe some of you may receive an update now because you have rebooted your device uh, these are the soft methods what you have to do you have to turn off the automatic update option and you have to try again you have to be more conscious in this so if it doesn't work go back to your Wi-Fi settings you again change your DNS server IP address in your Wi-Fi settings so make sure static IP is turned on and you delete the pre-applied 8.8.8.8 DNS server and type the new IP address which I am typing right now which is 114.114.114.114 I may repeat the IP address 114.114.114.114 so right now don't forget to save the settings below so after you have saved this IP address to your Wi-Fi, you some of you may have received the update right now. There may be some um, pop-up update option with patch wall 3.1.1. You have get it in your home screen. So right now I have saved. I am going to try 
the system update option so i'm going back to the settings and then the system update option so right now i'm trying but what to do some of you may have received but for me it is saying that MITV is up to date and I haven't received any update option right now. So I have uh, I'm doing it the similar way which we have done previously. So there is no other option I'm going to reset my TV. While resetting the TV it will ask for keep other files like that like your apps, your personal files or some other things. I need you to keep the option in delete because it completely reboots the system. If you have any personal files or something you please copy it in your pen drive. Or through the file explorer pre-built in or uh, if you need any apps uh, any third party apps you can download the app toid in your store you can side load the app toid app also so right now the system is getting rebooted it shows the, the initial setup which has been shown while you have brought a brand new tv so right now i am connecting it to my phone's hotspot so i am connecting to my wi-fi and make sure you check in all these options and the rules and terms and conditions also so right now i'm going to try update my tv so it is showing this same thing uh, you try changing the same ip address and follow the same rules one way or the other you may receive an update instantly so i am trying the same ip address 8.8.8.8 again so don't forget to save the ip address and then go back to your up system update option and you click update after you click the update, wait in your home screen for 2 to 3 seconds. So it's there. The patch wall version 3.1.1 is visible. The uh, pop up window is visible. And install the patch wall OS, which is available in your screen. Some of you may get this update previously, or some of them may have to do this uh, 5 to 6 times again and again. Don't lose hope. Be patient. Update may come to your system at any time. So now the patch wall 3.1.1 is updated. When you check in your system update option, it will show 1.2.1 stable update. But in this version, patch wall is showing 3.1.1. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks.